for those of you who don't know me very well, I'm actually a lot shyer than people think. Uh, when, like, the guys always feel natural to just kind of start singing, like, together in the spot, on the spot. But for me, it takes a lot because as a kid, um, my my brothers and sisters, my parents would always kind of push me to sing. And it was always like a moment of, like, mm. I love doing it. But still, I have that feeling every so often where I'm like, oh, boy, is there a language barrier with Alberto? No, not at all. Like, uh, I think he's nailing the English. You know what? He, he tries really hard, and I think he's actually better than he thinks he is. He just doesn't have the confidence yet. Um, but it, every day is a lesson, and uh, it's a pleasure, again, because for me, I lived in Italy for, for almost six years, and, but it's been almost 20 years uh, since I left. And I'm getting a lot of practice with my Italian. I'm the official translator of the group. Uh, so whenever we're talking contracts or music or I didn't get that or non ho capito, you know, like the, I jump in and, and it's been great. I, I, I feel really close to him. He's like a little brother to me. I get this question a lot. How many hats do I have? You know what? I really don't know. It's embarrassing. Uh, it, you know, when you look at my closet, it's like piles of hats. Don't know. Who pre-show ritual. Uh, I would say there's a number of things. I have to get my hats in order. Uh, but I also meditate. Uh, just try to get my breath and my mind uh, in the right place. Um, and then there's another element uh, to uh, connecting with my brothers. So we do a huddle and just kind of, uh, you know, kind of talk about the moment and uh, talk about what we're grateful uh, for uh, before going on, uh, you know, being in this profession and getting to go out on stage every night is truly a gift. And so we don't take that for granted and honing in with your brothers that way, mentally, spiritually, uh, emotionally is always a way to ground ourselves music is is a powerful thing uh when i lost my dad when i was 16 uh that's how i got into really singing on stage uh someone took me to go see Les Miserable, and i was a puddle by the end of it and back then it was hard for me to express any emotion but that released the floodgate for me and i knew that music had to be a part of my life because of how powerful and healing it was.